Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media canvas later step-by-step -step tutorial. Enjoy! I bought this letter K at Michael's. It's texture is canvas as it's wrapped in a canvas sheet all around and of course K for my name. The first thing I did is I took the woven Prima stencil and using some modeling paste, Prima modeling paste, I added some texture to the background. I started making the composition on the canvas by adding some shabby chic resin frames from Prima and some wood icons from Finnevere Prima and I started putting them on the background. I cut the wooden icons to fit them on different areas. All the supply lists are at the bottom so you can see which ones I used and it will be easier for you to follow along. Then I took the a soft matte gel from Finnevere and I glued all the elements onto the background. I took out the Prima Finnabear art stones and mini art stones because I wanted to add some texture but then I remembered I wanted to add some more elements onto the background so I took some of the mechanical hearts and glued them on a few places on the frames. Now it was time to add the texture to the background so I added some gel in certain areas and then started spreading the uh, art stones and the mini art stones onto the background and seal them with the gel. First I started adding the gel onto the canvas and then spreading the art stones with a little bit uh, with a little spoon and then sealing it with the gel. Then I realized that it was faster to just dip my paintbrush in the gel and then dip it directly into the art stones and then create the texture that way. The nice thing about the gel is that it dries clear so even if you put a lot of it with the art stones it will not be seen once it is dry. I wanted to add a few more elements to the background so I added some mechanical stars from Finnevere Prima line. I took some Prima wire 
and created a kind of nest in the middle of the frame to add some more texture to the composition. Then I used some Prima Finabear heavy gel to make sure that it stayed in place. I also needed to add some more hard stones in between the wire to create some more texture. Finally, I glued a metal heart that I had in my stash in the middle of the nest. I let the gel dry overnight so the elements wouldn't move when I applied the gesso. I went and applied the gesso and covered all the elements in white. I let the gesso fully dry and then started applying color boom sprays. I needed to make sure that the background was fully dry when I was applying the sprays. The names of all the color bloom colors that I used are in the supply list below. I sprayed it very heavily everywhere because I really wanted to saturate the color so it will be very bright. Of course I let this also dry and then I took some Prima Fina Bear um, Art Alchemy acrylic paint in the gold rush color and started applying it in certain areas with a paintbrush to mix some of the colors and create a different tone. Once this layer was dry, I took Prima Fina Bear heavy gesso again, heavy white gesso, and I started applying it on all the elements, embellishments, texture, and with a dry brush technique to bring out all the highlights back to the surface. I also applied it on the edges of the canvas to 
cover any drips that I have caused with the color bloom sprays. I let this layer dry and then I started applying gesso again on a second layer because the first layer of gesso mixed with the color broom sprays as it reactivated itself with the color so I knew that I needed to add another layer and I actually went ahead and added more than one layer every time I let it dry in between so this is the second layer I've added I think I added two more layers after this to make sure that I really bring out the white elements and the texture and all the embellishments shapes into the surface so even though I only showed two of the white gesso layers here I did add a couple more layers because it wasn't white enough for me every time it would dry and it was really important to make it look how I like it so I continued to add white layers until I was happy with the results. The nice thing about this technique is that you create shadows and highlights on your project. The white gesso creates the highlights while the sprayed area underneath is the shadows underneath and it creates depth. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, visit my blog. Bye!